What is happening? What is going on? You absolute bunch of legends. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a abstract kind of shape. And then I'm also going to show you how to animate it. So you, it's a very, very nice tutorial, in my opinion, to, to learn how to do these basics. And then you can implement these kind of things into more complicated scenes and renders. So I thought I would just do this so that you can see a little bit how to do this and hopefully enjoy the video. So first thing, let's get started. So first thing you need is you're going to go shift a mesh and we're going to need an object. So we're going to use an icosphere. Now what you want to go is click here and you want to click there and make it one subdivision. Then what you want to do is you want to go to, you want to go here and you want to go to viewport display, click here and turn on wireframe. Then you can go yeah, and you can hit on your object, you can hit tab and then we can just go to number pad one and the camera. Just gonna click here and I'm just gonna hide it for now. Then what you want to do is go to edit and look for menu search. And then you want to type in split and you want to split faces by edges, by faces and edges. Okay, so you click there, and then click here and go to and then change this to individual origins. Then what you do is push S and you can see when I do this what happens. So we want to do this, but what we actually want to do is we want to bring it in so like that. Just till about there. And I can go to add a tab and we've got an object looking like this and this is what we want. Then what you wanna do is you wanna select your object and you wanna go over here, you can close this and you wanna go to modifiers and add a solidify modifier. And then bring the offset all the way to one. And then you wanna bring this up to about, to about there, that looks pretty good. You can go maybe go one more up to, to about zero point zero seven and then you what you want to do is go add modifier and add a bevel modifier this is we just want to round out the the edges change this to about to about there 1.1 1 .1 is good change this to about to about 12 so you can see there because you'll see it won't actually look like this if you hide this it looks like this and this looks very very nice it's nice and yeah it's basically it looks pretty good i'll bring this back and then you want to click on your object, right click, shade smooth. And now what you want to do is, let's bring this back. And you want to go shift A, and you want to add an empty plane axis. And then what you want to do is you want to select your icosphere. And we want to go back to modifiers. And we just want to close these two, because we want to add an array modifier. So array, boom, change this to zero. Enable object offset, bring this down. And then you want to select your plane axis as your, or your empty. And then what you want to do is just go S, scale it down to about there. And just R, rotate it. Like that, and then maybe just go R, and rotate it around, just to make it look a little bit different. So I'm looking like this now. And then just select your icosphere, your empty. Your icosphere. And you can bring this up to maybe another one more. So we've got this. So it looks a little bit cooler. Just make sure you've got everything selected. Go to your empty. Click over here on your object. Then change the Z to make it 20. And now we want to animate it. So if I click on my camera, we've got a camera. I'm just going to select it. And then just click here. If you don't have a camera, just add one. Uh, it's not that difficult to do. And we've got this. So if you want to add your camera, just go shift a mesh and add a camera, boom, you got a camera. Then I'm going to click here, go to your timeline, drag this up a little bit. It's about there. And then what you want to do quickly is you want to go shift a mesh and we want to add a plane and then go to X, G, bring it down and then S, scale it up really big to about here. Hit tab, click over here, click there, hit E and extrude it up. So we've got a background, click there, control B to bevel, and move your mouse down, roll your middle scroll wheel, boom, hit tab, right click, shade smooth. Now I go back to camera, so we've got a nice background going. And then now what you wanna do is you wanna click on your icosphere, click here, and then what you wanna do is you wanna select your icosphere, and you wanna drag this back to about here, click there, and then go here to the end, and then you want to click over here. So if I do this, then rotate it like this, 
boom and now you can see it rotates like that and then what you want to do is go back here and then what you want to do is go back here click here and then go boom it adds another keyframe and then rotate this to about 250 and rotate this to about 250 so 250 boom like this and then now if i do this and push play you'll see it will move like this and we'll see now move like that and then boom so you're getting something that's looking like this and this looks pretty cool so it's rotating like that so it almost starts off slow and then it picks up pace and it moves in different directions which is something a little bit different and then now we can light the scene so if i go here got this if i just hide this and i go here we've got something looking like this now so now we just want to change the color so we're going to select our plane and we're just going to go here to materials so boom hit new let's make this like a kind of like a let's make it like a purple or like a light pink uh let's go with maybe like a lighter blue this looks pretty nice and then if i select this hit new and we can change this color we can make it like a blue so it looks like this or we can make it like a green make it a bit darker so let's go with like a blue and then bring the metallic up so it's kind of reflects which also looks pretty nice and you can always bring the roughness all the way down or just to something like this and now if i push play got something like this now and you'll see it will then change direction which looks pretty cool and then it speeds up boom and then slows down and then it looks pretty cool so it's very very simple to do and it's a nice object kind of random and that is how the scene will look so i know it's a bit of a quick tutorial hopefully you learned something hopefully it was interesting to you and i'll see you in the next video peace